In December 2020, Google released their new IDE or Integrated Development Environment for Google Apps Script. And at this point, that should have been fully released, fully rolled out, so everyone should have that at this point. So here's the new IDE, and here's what it used to look like. For the actual code itself, it's very similar, and I'm using the exact same scripts on both to make that very easy for us. Uh, there are a lot of full walkthroughs of the new IDE. I'm not here to do a comprehensive. So if you're looking for more about the debugger, you're looking for more about deployment, there are other walkthroughs that do that. I'm looking at some specific features that I really like, especially doing the Sheets app script development. So for instance, one thing that I've always liked is using the dark mode. Uh, all my videos, I have dark mode on whenever I can. That used to be a separate extension that I had to get. Now that's actually a toggle right here in the yeah, editor environment itself. So that's built in to toggle between light mode and dark mode. And if there are features or you just like the look of the old the legacy editor, you can just click use legacy editor and that will bring you back to the old one. And from here, you can click use new editor. It's still accessible via the same way from your sheet, go to tools, script editor, and that opens up. Now, some of the great things, it's a lot cleaner on the new version. As we can see, the entire menu has been reduced, it's gone. So rather than this file, edit, view, all those most used features have been collapsed into this left sidebar, overview, editor, triggers, executions, and project settings. So some of the things that I do a lot, we need to look at the logs. And from, he, from the old editor, you had to go to view, stack driver logging, app script dashboard, and it would bring up this separate window. In the new, it's actually right here in executions in the same area. Much cleaner, much easier to use. Also, we've made a lot of triggers uh, on edit triggers, time triggers, stuff like that. That used to be edit current projects triggers. And then here, add a specific trigger. In the new IDE here on the left, you have triggers. It's again, right here in the same area. We also have project settings, which includes the script ID, which can be useful depending on the scope of the project. And the project details shows how many errors, how many executions, how many users, and then what's being authenticated or authorized. So really good high level information. Looking at the editor itself, there's a lot of excellent features here. First, if I go ahead and run this, the logs actually appear here in the window. I don't have to go anywhere else. They're right here. If I've done any sort of logger or console, both of those will appear here. So on this test, I just have it logging out a row from the sheet on a certain condition. And that's just mapping it here directly to the window that we're looking at instead of having to go anywhere else. So we can debug, we can see what's going on a lot easier. It has a much more robust autocomplete. So if I come up here, I know I already have this sh variable, but let's go ahead and say const, okay, already there. If I just see, as soon as I hit C, it comes up with everything. Const is right here. I can call this one sheet. And as soon as I hit SP, it gives me spreadsheet app. And do get active spreadsheet. Get sheet by name. And then here, not only is it autocomplete, but it also has these tool tips to show me how to use it. So it's a lot more robust. We're looking at new. Not only is it autocomplete for the function names, but it also tells you what to do with those functions. So I find it much more useful and much more accessible on what's going on. So there's autocomplete, there's function folding. So I don't need to be worrying about my on edit script right now. I'm just doing this script. So here, if I come to this left area, I can actually collapse the entire function so that it's not taking up any space. That's really useful when I have multiple functions, as I often do on, on some of my larger sheets. I have you know, two, three, four. My biggest one, I think, has something like 10 different scripts in the same file. Uh, and when I don't want to be looking at everything, I can just collapse those down there. I can change all occurrences of a variable. So this sh variable, if I click it, it actually highlights everywhere that appears. Let's say I want to change all of them. I can right click, 
and change all occurrences. It's going to give me all of them, and I want to call that cheat one. Great, and that changes all of them at once. Additionally, if I'm looking down here and I don't remember what sheet one means, I can right click and go to definition. Takes me to where that was initially defined. Or I can peek at the definition and it'll bring up this extra tool, this extra uh, window that shows me where that was defined. And same thing with references. So I can peek at references and it'll show me everywhere where that variable is referenced. I think that's so cool to really easily see at a glance what's going on in your sheet what, or in your script, where the variables are being used. I like that one a lot. So there, uh, it also shows you how far in you're indented. It just makes it a lot cleaner. I can even come right click and format document and it will put the standardized spacing and indentation into the entire document. Let's say I copied something over from Stack Overflow and it just didn't copy over correctly because of different formats there versus here. I right click format document, fixes the whole thing automatically. Now there is one tool that is absent from the new version, the new IDE versus the old. If I come to the old IDE, I can go to file, project properties, script properties, we haven't used these yet, but I find them incredibly powerful in the right circumstances where you need to hold variables over multiple iterations of a script. You can still get to these. You just have to either use the old IDE or do something like logging the properties.script properties. So if we do logger.log properties service. dot get properties All right so we can get there from here but if you actually want to visualize them you will have to use the old editor that has not been integrated into the new ide but you can access them and oftentimes it's better to use the cache service instead rather than the, the property service so there's a really, really quick overview of some of the cool features I find about the new IDE. Dark mode's already integrated in it. You can get back to the legacy if you need. You can create triggers really simply, as well as see all of the executions. The logs appear directly in the window itself. And then, of course, the autocomplete on functions and the tooltips. Function folding to really keep your window cleaner. You can change all occurrences and see the definitions and references very, very simply. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, this, this